Hi there, my name is Chris Dunning. I run a cloud computing consultancy here in sunny Wimbledon. Uh, we are called Tech Quarters and uh, we look after businesses between 5 and 50 employees. Uh, today I'm going to give you a very brief summary on why you should cloud your server. Uh, so here's server Pete, he's reaching up there for the cloud um, uh, because he's desperate to go there and he's getting a little bit old and it's time for him to move. So, if you're like most small businesses, in the last seven years you have probably implemented a Microsoft Small Business Server 2003. Uh, they were absolutely ubiquitous across the whole of London. 80% of SMEs had one of these servers. So what does this server do for you? Well, there's really four key functions. It runs your email using Microsoft Exchange. It uh, keeps all your data there, so you have your Word, your Excel, your PowerPoint. Uh, and PDFs, uh, so that's all your company data. Uh, you also might have a database on there like Sage or perhaps uh, one of your CRM applications. And then finally what it does is it runs your network. So it helps you with your printing, it allows you to log on, it basically manages the whole of your network for you. So. It's your choice, what do you do? So m many of the customers we go in to see are typically you know, finance directors, office managers, uh, managing directors of these small businesses and they recognize uh, that they have to upgrade this server. So old Pete sitting there feeling a bit sad and wants to grow into big Pete Plus. Um, this is my attempt at drawing a beefier, stronger server but actually it was a bit more like uh, Mr. Tickle off further, Mr. Man. Um, and that's really going to cost you around about 10,000. So, you know, 3,000 for the hardware, 3,000 for the server software, and 3,000 for the consultancy to implement it. So, not far, you're not going to have much change out of 10,000. But really, what we're talking about is poor little Pete here is just going to get disseminated into different parts. So, his email function will go to the cloud with Microsoft Online or Google Apps and uh, his data will actually get stored on a local NAS device. Um, Simon, actually, if you've got one of those, um, Simon, the producer there. Uh, so this is one of these little storage devices. And you can see two hard disks. Um, this contains about two terabytes of data, and uh, it costs about the tenth of the price of a server. So all in all, there's up to a 50% and more saving on the upgrade path to the cloud here. Uh, why would you do this? Well, as I say, savings, huge amount in the capital expenditure outlay if you move to the cloud. Your support fees, well, we actually offer a, up to a 30% reduction in most support fees for businesses if they move to the cloud. Um, you will get business continuity, so because your data's out there with your email, uh, you'll be able to carry on working if in the event of uh, the office not working or the snow falling down as it did at Christmas time, your business can carry on running. And then finally, flexible working, so uh, people can work from home, uh, less bums on seats in the office and obvious cost saving to yourself. So thanks for listening, uh, that was all about Small Business Server 2003 from Tech Quarters.